Hi, this is Father Jonathan Meyer, and you're making a choice to be alive in your faith. We're coming to the close, people. It is the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, and uh, there's only 34 weeks in the liturgical year. This is our last week of Ordinary Time before we head into the upcoming Advent season, which is a whole other liturgical year. So let's look at today's gospel passage, Matthew chapter 25, and it says this. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man went on a journey, called in his servants, and trusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, each according to his ability. Then he went away. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I intentionally chose the short version. I often choose the short version. I always think about families with lots of kids and how hard it is for them to uh, often make it through Mass. And um, I like to preach a long time as well. So uh, uh, there is a much longer version of this passage. That's what you might hear when you go to church on Sunday. But I think the shorter version also just makes a story very, very simple. Notice that Jesus says he gave five talents to one, two to another, and a third, and a one, each according to his ability. God meets us with our abilities, and he gives us gifts and opportunities, he gives us graces, according to our ability. God doesn't ask us to do something that we can't do. He doesn't entrust us with something that we can't do. I think sometimes, you know, it can be overwhelming for us, and we, yeah, God loves us. And we need to get that, like, God loves us. He loves us so much. He meets us right where we're at with our own needs, our own wants, our desires. He meets us perfectly where we're at with the gift that we need when we want it, how we want it, but most importantly, how we need it. Then, of course, the master goes away. He comes back. And um, someone who was given five talents made five more. This is always a, this is a powerful passage. What have you done with the graces that God has given to you? What have you done with what God has given to you? What have you done with your education? What have you done with having saintly grandparents or parents or aunts or uncles or saintly friends or a saintly spouse? What have you done with the financial resources that God has given to you? Have you increased them? How have you done, what have you done with your faith? And what have you done with your faith if God's given you a lot of it? Have you increased the faith of others? Have you multiplied your faith in the life of others? This is such a call to evangelization, such a call to share the gospel with others. God has blessed you. Increase the blessings. Share the blessings. Let the blessings flow. On to some questions here. What's the message, the basic message of the story? How is it good news? What do you believe that the talents represent? What talents specifically has God given to you? What talents do you have that God has given to you? What talent in your life have you buried? And why did you bury that talent? And what would happen if you unburied that talent? Jesus wants to increase, multiply, and expand. What does that say about evangelization? What does it say about the new evangelization? What does it say about what we should be doing as Christians, as Catholics? What are simple things you can do to make the kingdom of God grow? What is a simple thing you can do right now to make the kingdom of God grow? Don't bury your talents. Thanks for joining us here at All Saints for a live. Look for our upcoming Advent edition that will begin in just uh, two weeks' time. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please check out these other videos. Know that we want to do all that we can to help you to be a saint. God, God bless and peace.